Hello everyone. Thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll see how we can able to prepare NDVI map using the Landsat 8 data set and also using the Sentinel 2 data set. Okay. So we'll prepare the NDVI map using the two different data sets. So how to prepare this that we'll see today. So first let me tell you about the NDVI. What is NDVI and what is their applications? Why it is useful? And what is the formula for NDVI that also we'll see today. Okay. So if we'll go to Google and search NDVI. Okay. So you'll get uh, many articles there. So here are some articles where you can able to check out the NDVI. Let will check the US data analytics. So here you can able to see the definition about the NDVI and all that. So this is usually for measure the greenness and the density of the vegetation captured in a satellite image. Healthy vegetation has a very characteristic spectral reflectance curve, which we can benefit from the calculating the difference between the two bands. Okay. That is a visible band red and near infrared. So NDVI is a difference expressed as a number that is ranging from minus one to plus one. Okay. And the normal difference between this change detection also we can able to get. So this is the formula. Okay. So to calculate the NDVI, we require NR minus red divided by NR plus red. So this NR is band. Okay. So in Landsat, it is a band number five NR and red is band number four. So in same way, Sentinel, the band number is different. Okay. Then after that, there are several applications in remote sensing. Okay, it can be useful for uh, uh, agriculture industry. Okay, also you can able to read all the detail. I will share this link in the description box as well. So, how to calculate this NDVI that we'll see. Okay, so first I have uploaded some videos about the how to download the data set. So I have explained here how you can able to download the Landsat data set and as well as Sentinel 2 data set. If you'll visit Vikas Gadamod channel, you will get these videos. So here I have explained in details about the bands. And also I will show you what is the bands. So if you'll go to Landsat 8 data set, Landsat 8 bands. So in the imagery section, you will see the details. So the band number five is NR and band number four is red. Okay. In this Landsat a data set, but same way, if you'll go to Sentinel two data set. Okay. Sentinel two satellite bands. Then you will see this NR band is band number eight. Okay. Here NR band is band number eight. So accordingly that the formula is there means nr minus red divided by nr plus red so here if you want to do the ndvi mapping then you need to select the band 8 minus band 4 okay in sentinel 2 data set and here in landsat 8 data set this is the band number 5 so we are going to prepare the ndvi using sentinel data set and as well as landsat data set so first i will explain you the script for the Landsat data set and then we'll see about the Sentinel data set. So first we need to add our study area here. Okay. Let I will remove this. Okay. So how we can able to add our study area in the previous video I have shown you, you can able to add your shape file. If you're having shape file, you can able to add the shape file or if you don't have a shape file, then you can create your study area. Okay take the rectangle or polygon, whatever you want to do and just draw this way, whatever area it is covered by your study area, you can able to draw. So just double click when you double click automatically, you will see your study area is created here. Okay. And here geometry is coming. So I have provided the name study area in the script. So I will add here name as a study area and just click on enter. Okay. So after that, 
what we need to do we need to add this function okay so what is a function so this function is useful for calculating the ndvi so as we have seen the formula okay that is we have seen the formula that is nr minus rate divided by nr plus rate so this function that is a normalized difference this function will useful for calculating the ndvi so here surface reflectance band 5 and surface reflectance band 4 is there so surface reflectance band 5 means that is a our nir band okay in the landsat 8 data so surface reflectance this is the near infrared band 5 and band 4 so this band 4 is red band okay then here this add band means it will create a new band after applying this formula that is nr minus red divided by nr plus red this add band will add a new band by the name ndvi okay so it will name as a ndvi after that applying the formula i have selected here the image collection okay so the code here suggesting the image collection for the landsat 8 data set so this image collections you will get from the g code if you'll go google earth engine here in the earth engine we need to go to data set in the data set you need to select the landsat and in the landsat there are different landsat landsat 8 landsat 9 so landsat 1 launch in 1972 after that there are numerous landsat data set like landsat 2 3 4 presently landsat 9 is there if we'll click on the landsat data set there is surface reflectance data is there and if you we'll click here you will get this image collection that landsat 8 this you need to copy and you can able to add here okay so variable landsat 8 is equal to image collections this we have added after that i have added dot filter data means i want ndvi for a particular time period means i have selected this from third month to fourth month so within one month what are the image is there for my study area that i want to calculate the ndvi okay and after that we are applying the scale factors okay so this scale factors is useful for converting dn value into surface reflectance okay whenever you will download the data you will get the value in dn so that digital number is need to replace by the surface reflectance means digital number need to convert to surface reflectance for that this scale factor will be useful and after that dot uh, dot map calculate ndvi and after that dot mean is there so it take mean ndvi over the specific period okay so after this don't worry i will share the script with you in the description box so you can able to access this and after that there is a this i want to clip with my study area okay so this is my study area with study area i want to clip this after that this is the map dot center zoom means when i will click on the run so it should zoom to my study area and here i am applying minimum maximum so minimum means there is ndvi range is between minus one to plus one okay so this where there is a uh, zero means minimum is zero so there it will show blue where there is a maximum value near to one it will show as a green okay and after that we want to export this to my study area to export this we have added the name that is a study area map then scale is 30 meter means special resolution and i want to i want this for my study area region and i want this in got file format and if it is a larger size for that i have added this 1e9 means even though my study area is big then it will able to export okay so let well, i will click on the run so once i'll click on the run so it is saying that the study area geometry is a not a function okay instead of that we'll use our study area only okay i will remove this and i will show study area only and then just click on the run 
and now I'm getting the NDVI. So let you can able to uncheck this and you can able to see the NDVI map. Okay. And uh, as we discuss here, that zero is the minimum where you will see the blue color means and after that this green is wherever you able to see the green color that is near to one so there you will get the highest percentage of vegetation cover okay so let will export this in arc map and then we can able to change if you want to change all the color and everything that also you can able to do there so let click on the task and export this click on the run so you need to provide the name of the file that ndvi using the landsat 8 click on run so this will export and it will take little bit time up to that we'll see the script for the sentinel 2 data set so similar way you can able to do with the sentinel 2 data set here i have added the study area okay I'm having the shape file. So let I will delete this area of interest and I can able to add this AOI. AOI nothing but the area of interest. Just click on enter. So, so here is the image collection dot Copernicus. Okay. This is for the Sentinel 2 data set. Okay. So if you click here on fix, you can able to fix this. So this is the harmonized data you can able to see. So this is the if you'll go to the Sentinel website or Google Earth engine, then data set. In the data set, there is a Sentinel 2. And if you click on the Sentinel 2, in the surface reflectance, you'll get this harmonized data. Okay, so image collection harmonized. So the same thing is here. After that, I want to filter with my AOI area of interest. So this is my area of interest. I want to filter with my area of interest. So whatever the images will be there from that. I want to filter with my area of interest and with that area of interest, I want a particular time period image. So I have selected this within a two or three months. I want this image and this is the cloud free. I want a cloud free image within a 20%. So same function is applying here. That is a normalized difference. So band eight and band four. So band eight is nothing but my Sentinel NIR band. And this is the band four is a red band. So this function also we have seen here for the same for calculating the Landsat eight data set. And this image collection is same as we have seen here. After that, so I want to apply this function to over image collections. Okay. So what are the for that, I will add the sentinel two dot map and calculate NDVI. And after calculating the NDVI, I want to clip with my study area. Okay. I want to clip this with my study area. And after that visualization parameter, I want to see this when I will click run, then it should be in the center and zoom level should be 10. And after that, I want to export this to export this, this function is useful. So this script also I will share in the description box where you can able to access this and just click on the run. Once I'll click on the run, you will see this I have added and you can also export this same way. Just click on the run and I will add NDVI Sentinel Okay, just click on the run. So our previous Landsat is downloaded. Okay. So let will access this. So let will go to drive and we'll check there. So in the drive. So this NDVI is downloaded. Let I will open this and download. And this Sentinel NDVI is, will take a little bit time and it will also download. So this is downloading here. Let will open this file in ArcMap. Okay. So 
so just select it and add in arc map click yes so same region ndy we can able to see so minimum value is this and maximum value is this so range is coming between minus one to plus one you can go to right click and you can able to provide a color what are the color you want so you can able to see the this portion is having a highest vegetation cover okay so what are the area we have selected for that this region is having a highest vegetation cover if i'll add the base map imagery add so just zoom it so you can if i'll uncheck it you can able to see the cropland area is there and it is having a highest vegetation cover and I, you can able to check in other place as well wherever you are able to see and this area is for lower ndvi where there is a water body okay so wherever you will able to see the negative value so this negative value indicating the water body area okay so this also you can able to check so we'll check the sentinel 2 image it is still downloading so this also downloaded here let we'll go to drive and we'll refresh So Sentinel NDVI, just click here. And we can also download from here as well. Just right click and download. And download. So this way very easily we can able to download the NDVI using the Sentinel 2 dataset and Landsat dataset. So let I will select this and I will drag it here. Right click, zoom to layer. Right click, go to properties. You can able to select the color ramp as well. You can flip color. So you can able to see this location is having a higher vegetation. Okay, if I uncheck it, you can able to check dense vegetation cover. So here also if I'll go, check, uncheck, and this is for the water body area. So very easily we can able to prepare the normalized difference vegetation index using the Google Earth engine. Even though if you are having a larger area, very easily we can able to calculate the NTVI. So if you are having any doubt regarding all these things, you can ask me in the comment sections. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.